Uh, so this video is a brief description of the fine structure doubling of spectral lines, uh, in which it was found that many spectral lines actually consist of two separate lines that are very close together. And we will see that this arises from the magnetic interaction between the spin and the orbital angular momenta of the atomic electron, and it is known as spin-orbit coupling. Uh, so it can be understood using a classical model. So let's consider this electron here revol revolving about this nucleus. Um, so this electron will find itself in a magnetic field because in its own frame of reference, the nucleus is actually circulating about it, okay? Uh, so this magnetic field B acts on the electron spin magnetic moment and it produces an internal Zeeman effect. And this effect is different from the normal and anomalous Zeeman effects which are produced as a result of the application of an external magnetic field to the atom. Uh, so this internal Zeeman effect is known as the fine structure, structure doubling of spectral lines. Uh, so in the hydrogen atom, the 2p state is split into two states uh, because of the spin-orbit coupling, okay? And so the transition from the 2p to the 1s state, which is expected to produce just uh, one spectral line, actually produce uh, two spectral lines that are uh, very close together and this is because the 2p state is split to two states because of spin orbit coupling. Uh, so the potential energy um of a magnetic dipole of moment mu in a magnetic field b is given by this equation so minus mu b cosine theta and theta is the angle between mu and b vectors. Uh, so this quantity mu cosine theta is the um, is the component of the vector mu that is parallel to b, okay? And in the case of the spin magnetic moment of the electron, this component is uh, given by mu s z equal to plus or minus mu b, where mu b is Bohr magneto. Uh, so details of this can be found in the previous uh, lectures I have given about quantum physics. So mu uh, u m is equal to plus or minus mu b b. Uh, so depending on the orientation of the spin vector s, the energy of an atomic electron is either higher or lower by this quantity, which is mu b b, uh, than in the case when there is no spin orbit coupling. Uh, so this is the two p state, uh, but uh, but this is the actual. Uh, states that correspond to this level when spin orbit coupling is taken into account. Okay, um, so the result is that every quantum state except a states in which there is no orbital angular momentum is split into two substates, and this is known as fine structure doubling. Uh, so the value of the spin quantum number s equal half is the only one that agrees with the observed fine structure doubling. Uh, and this is because with spin, the single state uh, is actually twin states, okay? So each single state, except for the S states, is actually uh, two states. Um, and the number of possible orientations of the spin vector S is equal to 2S plus 1 must be equal to 2, right? Uh, because we have two states. And this gives the uh, spin quantum number equal to half. Uh, so we can calculate the, um, the approximate magnetic field experienced by an electron in the hydrogen atom uh, in the 2p state as a result of its revolution around the nucleus um, uh, using a classical model to be approximately 0.4 tesla. And if we substitute here, uh, this gives the magnetic energy of the electron in this field to be 2.3 times 10 to the minus 5 electron volt.
Uh, and the energy difference between the upper and lower substates is equal to twice uh, this value. So it's 2 mu b b, okay? Uh, so it's 4.6 times 10 to the minus 5 electron volt for the case of the uh, 2p uh, electron in the hydrogen atom. Uh, because plus mu bb is the split to a higher energy and minus mu bb is uh, to the lower energy and the difference between them is 2 mu bb. Uh, so thank you for watching and see you in the next video.